Hi to all, how's it going? Before we start with the actual tutorial, please uh, let me just acknowledge the incredible work and dedication that uh, Real Thunder is pouring into FreeCAD. During the recording of this tutorial, he has pushed a new release of his uh, daily build, uh, where he merged from Master the new big changes uh, regarding Sketcher from Abdullah, uh, hoping that I haven't butchered uh, his name. Given the complexity of the code of, on both sides, uh, Master and Link Stage 3, this created some issues. Uh, but the speed with which he managed to hotfix a problem is just incredible to me. He has managed to release two daily builds in the span of just one day, and this kind of active development uh, deserves uh, our um, help and support. So hit his Patreon link uh, that you will find in the video uh, description and cover him with love. That being said, the recommended minimum version for this tutorial is Link Stage 3 Daily 2021.01.30. And uh, let's start uh, the tutorial. We will start by showing you first uh, two neat little visual tricks that uh, FreeCAD can do now. One is having a background for the tree view elements for increased uh, legibility. To customize that option, you need to go into Edit, Preferences, go into Display, User uh, Interface, and the item background color is the property that you want to tweak to have this new visual enhancement. The alpha channel controls the opacity of the background and um, if we try to make it zero, let's see how that looks. Apply, you have the usual overlay the tree, but we'll leave it to something like 20 for some uh, better legibility. Okay, apply, okay. Another uh, thing uh, is um, bringing um, into all the workbenches the draft uh, grid. That uh, most of all is a visual aid and it will help us uh, assess uh, changes in the 3D view during uh, this uh, tutorial. So right click on the toolbar, choose customize, go into toolbars, we'll choose we want to be a global, um, globally available. I have already created the custom uh, toolbar. And if we go into the search field here and we type just grid, you see that one option is toggle the draft uh, grid. Click on that and our button is added uh, to the toolbar. Click close. And as you can see, we have this no, uh, new toggle uh, draft grid um, button. So let's turn it on. In this tutorial, we will talk uh, about a powerful new feature, feature present in the Link Stage free branch called the configuration tab table. For those who have used uh, SolidWorks, uh, this works somewhat like uh, it's a design table, but more fit for FreeCAD. The end product will be a configuration table defined in a spreadsheet that allows uh, the user to dynamically switch between multiple sets of parameters for one or multiple objects. I will try and show you first a um, simple example so that we get the hang of how um, things uh, work and then we'll, we will try a more complex example with uh, different uh, configuration uh, driving uh, different features on our body. We will start with this um, already made uh, sketch, which is uh, the representation of a 50 by 50 aluminum extrusion. Let's just pad it so we can um, see a little bit better what's happening on the screen. I want the pad to be symmetric to plane. I will leave this 10 millimeters as it is and hit OK. Let's first test the ability to drive uh, the length of, of uh, this last pad uh, with the help of uh, a value set, um, set it in the spreadsheet. So for this we need to move to the spreadsheet workbench and we will create a new spreadsheet. Double click on it, we'll open it, go into Windows, Tile, select your 3D view, 
tile again. And this gives us a tidy workplace where we have everything visible. For the purpose of this video, the first cell of our spreadsheet will be reserved for the configuration table, but uh, we will see this later in the video. Let's start by setting an, a value in the B1 um, cell and um, this uh, cell will drive the length of uh, our aluminum extrusion. Let's give it a value and this could be 200 millimeters. We'll give it an alias and the alias for this could be extrusion. Hit the enter button and if we change uh, cells you'll see that the cells that actually have an alias are colored in yellow. Turn to your 3D view. Let's choose our pad double click on it and in the field of the length we need to go and hit the expression editor icon this will help us uh, reference the actual length uh, that we set it uh, in the spreadsheet so we start by type typing spreadsheet dot we can already search by the alias that we have uh, given to our cell so extrusion length hit enter okay and you see that uh, the actual length of the pad respects the value that we have set it in the spreadsheet if we change this value we see in real time that we can reference the length of the pad from with uh, from inside the sp our spreadsheet so now it's time to focus on our main goal. Please notice that our pad is inside a body container. This will be important in, important in one of the next steps. In order to create um, a configuration table, we need two elements. We need a way to enumerate the configurations uh, that we will set up inside the spreadsheet. And the second element uh, will uh, be the actual configuration table. Remember that we reserved our uh, first cell, the cell A1, for the um, configuration table. And let's imagine that we need uh, three configurations for our uh, extrusion. We need a small one, a medium and a long uh, extrusion. So in the first um, column uh, we will set the names for our configurations. Small extrusion. In the cell beneath it uh, we'll make a medium one and a long extrusion. Right click on the B1 cell, choose copy and by selecting uh, the three cells underneath it, choose past. Going back, going back to our model, click on our body, right click on the A1 cell, choose configuration table and in the property view, uh, property field we will uh, type body. We will type body because we want to reference our main body that contains our pad. So type body dot configuration. And in the group name, we'll uh, give it a name uh, that is uh, relevant to us. So we will call uh, this configuration extrusion length. Click OK. And as you can see, by clicking on our uh, body, uh, we um, created a property enumeration in the group called extrusion length. And the configuration, if we click uh, here we have a drop down menu that references the A uh, col column uh, in our spreadsheet. We can change the value, but of course, in this moment, nof nothing happens because uh, we have the same value for all three cells. So our medium extrusion will change it to something like 500, and the long one perhaps 700. So let's go ahead and try our configuration table. If we choose the medium uh, extrusion, let's activate the grid to better see what's happening. 
let's try the long extrusion and as you can see we have successfully created a configuration table we can actually have different configuration uh, tables inside the same spreadsheet and now that we got the hang of it let's go ahead and confuse the heck uh, out of uh, everybody so we will uh, move we will create a part container move to the part workbench hide our extrusion create a cube vs on the keyboard to view selected and what we want to do is to move the cube inside the part container our cube has different uh, properties it, it has a length a width and a height we want to control with the help of a configuration uh, table we want to control the length of the cube choose the b7 cell let's type in 10 millimeters we'll give it an alias this alias will be let's say cube length length now going back to our length click on the length field and choose the expression editor we want to reference our cell so we will type spreadsheet dot cube length enter enter let's say that we want a small a medium and a long one so we go ahead and create our different uh, our various configurations so click on small next one will be a medium and the fourth one will be a long let's give this uh, some um, values we want the small to be a length of uh, 10 millimeters the medium 20 millimeters and the long one 30 millimeters notice how our cube is inside a part container so right click on the a7 um, cell choose configuration table in the property field type part because we want to reference a part type part dot configuration and as a group name we will choose to name it cube length hit ok and choose your part as you can see our part has a configuration called cube length with different configurations and if we hit the drop down menu we have a small a medium and a long value so let's choose the medium one click ok and you can see that we can drive the different values thanks to the configuration that we can find inside the property window okay so hoping that i haven't confused the heck out of uh, everybody we'll leave it here and i'll uh, expect you in the next tutorial where we will take on a more um, uh, kind of um, more complex model uh, the model of a bracket and please notice the notice how in this model the different configurations other than having different dim dimensions uh, will uh, choose um, even the number of the holes on uh, the walls and as a cl closing note uh, i just wanted to say a big thank you to my new patreons and i wanted to let you know that i really appreciate um, your pledge and this makes me want to go ahead uh, with this channel thank you again and i'll see you in the next one